moves along, it is Jack May and Mark Godbeer, the current British bare knuckle boxing champion. He's going to be taking on the towering Jack May, who is standing by with the schmo. Thanks, guys. I'm here with the combat veteran Jack May. Now, you believe you're the more sharp, technical fighter, training with heavyweight boxing, world-class fighters, the Andy Ruizes, the Dominique Brazils. What's your expectation when you go out there in the pit? To shine, to outbox, to win, any means necessary. How do you want to start off this fight? Precise, strong, fast. There you go, folks. Jazz, kicking it back to you. This way, my man. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the pit, Jack May. I got this up. So Jack the Outlaw May, always known as a big puncher in the world of MMA, and you heard from the schmo, boy, you couldn't ask for better sparring for Jack May. He's training with the heavyweight champion of the world, Andy Ruiz, right. a heavyweight title challenger, and Dominic, Dominic Brazil. What more could you ask for in terms of preparation? Uh, look, iron sharpens iron, like they say, and training partners are paramount when it comes to any combat sport. So he's definitely going to be ready, and he looks lean. He's not carrying any extra weight. You see the size of Jack May, six foot eight, a Division One basketball player. Played for two different Division One schools, and then two Division Two schools. He was kicked off of all of those teams, Pat, for, for what? fighting. For fighting, of course. <laughs> so it makes sense that he's here, of course. And I was saying earlier, you know, we were talking about this young man. Very intense. You can tell he's a nice guy, but you can tell he's look, he's just waiting for somebody to say something wrong. I mean, he he's not a guy that I would certainly want to mess with. He is a man who is always looking for a fight, has been his entire life. He'll certainly find one inside the pit here tonight. As we mentioned, maybe the forgotten man in this tournament, but if you look at imposing physical figures, they don't get much bigger than Jack May. And his challenge here tonight is the British bare knuckle boxing champion, Mark the Hand of Godbeer, who is standing by with the schmo. All right, guys, we're back here with Mark Godbeer. What's up, guys? He's getting ready. He's been here before. This is not his first bare knuckle fight. Do you have any final thoughts before you make your way down there to the pit? No thoughts. I'm just going to get in there and do my job, guys. There he goes, Jazz, get ready for the big man. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome his opponent. Here is Mark Gottbeer. The current British BKB champion, Mark, the hand of Godbeer. He said, I was always a rogue, always scrapping on the streets. I've always been fighting bare knuck. He has, he's done, like I said, a lot of security work over the over in England over the years. And this guy knows how to strike. Has a ton of experience with kickboxing, with the bare knuckle fighting, with boxing. He's trained with a ton of great fighters, English fighters. And he is a, a pleasure and a treat to talk to. Oh, is he ever. And, and you know what? As much as we're trying to revive bare knuckle in America, and we are reviving it here tonight in Valor, Bare Knuckles really never gone away in the UK. It's been underground, but also in the mainstream as well. So when you see a British fighter on a Bare Knuckle card, you know they're a serious contender. Yeah, I mean, he, he cut his teeth, certainly doing a lot of underground Bare Knuckle fighting. Yeah, there were times where they said, all right, it's time to get into the, the actual sanctioned fighting, time to make some big money and he's done that quite well. Well, he said he learned in his first bare knuckle fight, first sanctioned bare knuckle fight, you can't waste time in there. There's no time to jab, jab, jab. You need to get in there and get out, and especially in a tournament format. Absolutely, take as little damage as possible so that you are ready for the next round, your next opponent. Super important, a total different mentality going into tournaments than an individual fight. When we take a look at the tail of the tape, you see the serious height discrepancy between May and Godbeer. Six foot eight, Jack May, a 78 inch reach, but Godbeer has the experience. 
What factor will that play here tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, we are scheduled for three rounds. This is a Valor Bear Knuckle Heavyweight Tournament semifinal. The winner of this fight will fight for the Heavyweight Championship. Your judges pit side are Terry Red Fox, Ben Boucher, and Wayne Fox. And the third man in the pit, in control of all the action, is referee Bobby Wambacher. And now, introducing, fighting out of the blue zone tonight, wearing gray. He weighed in at 242 pounds. K-1 veteran, Bellator fighting veteran, and UFC veteran, fighting out of Whittier, California, making his Valor Bear Knuckle debut, introducing the outlaw, Jack May. And now his opponent fighting across the pit out of the red zone. Tonight he wears black. He weighed in at 253 pounds. He is undefeated in bare knuckle competition at two and zero. Fighting out of Bridgewater, England. He is the British bare knuckle heavyweight champion. Mark the hand of All right, gentlemen, we've been through the rules in the back. I expect a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch them up if you want. Richard, are you ready? Jack, are you ready? Mark, are you ready? Let's get after it. Our second semifinal contest is underway. Mark Godbeer in the all black pants. Jack May in the gray pants, the towering, imposing figure. May doing a good job parrying punches so far. Quick jab, quick jab. Wow. Good shot there from May. Whoa, huge right hand, barely misses. Now Godbeer looking for it all. He's not joking. He wants to get in and get out. Whoa. If this fight was in the Tokyo Dome, it would be Godzilla versus Roll Down. Yeah. Oh, down goes May. Oh. Boy, he hit his head hard Whoa. on the way down. Five, I tell you six, what, that punch seven, was solid. Eight. Are you Holy good? cow. Walk to me. That was a long way down for Go. Jack May. Godbeer trying oh. to finish it. Out goes Jack May. Whoa. Whoa, brother. That's a monster. They call me a They call me a god. 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 I don't know how to stop. I just go till I drop. Whether it's working or shots, give it all that I got. You can watch me work in my element. Anyone in the way is irrelevant you Wanna cross me, cool, not intelligent Cause I don't forget shit like an elephant Go ahead and tempt me Put it on the line and you'll come up empty If I got time, I'm deadly Never caught off guard, no, I'm always ready I got a hand real steady Look me in the eye and you'll see no hezzy About to get real messy I'll put you in a grid six feet like Kenny
Mark Godbeer advancing to the heavyweight finals to take on Mighty Mo for the Valor Heavyweight Championship. Show of respect between two men. What a shot it was from Mark Godbeer. Let's send it up and make this one official. We send it into the pit with Jazz. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for these Warriors tonight. The fight ends at 50 seconds of the very first round. Your winner by knockout and still undefeated in bare knuckle competition, Mark the Hand of So a tremendous performance from Mark Godbeer. An outstanding right hand that knocked Jack May out. What a shot. We send it up inside the pit to Pat. All right, I'm with Mark Godbeer. Mark, we had a great talk yesterday, and you were very specific on the way that fights of this style need to be conducted, and that is get in, get your work done quickly, and get out. Yes, sir. Um, I just got to say one thing, guys. This isn't MMA, this isn't kickboxing, this isn't boxing. This is bare knuckle boxing, and it takes balls to get in this ring. It takes balls to get in here. It takes a different mentality, it's a different ball game, guys. And I'm here to entertain all you American folks from the UK. Now, obviously, Mark, your strategy for getting in and out quickly is not to take damage so that you're ready for the next round. You've got to feel great about what you just accomplished, and you have no marks on your face. Uh, um, yeah, I feel great, but you know, I'm not getting excited. I got another fight. We're only halfway done, so I'm not celebrating. Um, all respects to Jack, a warrior for just stepping in here. Mighty Mo is the Godbeer in the Mo. Let's go! Great performance, Mark.